Hey guys, I wanted to answer this. I've done videos on Judas before. No, Judas did not get saved and lose his salvation. Judas was never saved. Uh, I'm going to show you some of these things that prove that. Now, first of all, uh, he's called the son of perdition, which is uh, the only other person called that is the Antichrist. Uh, Jesus clearly says, have not, I not chosen you and one of you is a devil. Um, also, he says that Jesus knew who would believe. Let me give you these verses here. He says, uh, this is John 6, 64. But there are some of you that believe not, speaking to the disciples. For Jesus knew from the beginning who they were that believed not and who should betray him. That's Judas. So uh, right there it shows you Judas never believed and were saved by believing on the Lord Jesus Christ and we shall be saved. Judas knew he was probably a teacher, somebody sent by God, didn't believe he was the son of the living God. That revelation was not given to him. Jesus actually chose him for the specific purpose of fulfilling scripture, being betrayed for 30 pieces of silver by a friend. Uh, he tells you this here in John uh, 6, 70. Jesus answered them and said, Have I not chosen you twelve, and one of you is a devil? So he knew from the beginning who Judas was and just did the Father's will. He had to fulfill scripture. Now, when Jesus did the Lord's Supper, okay he says if you drink my blood and eat my flesh you're mine right he said that's a paraphrase but look it up he says you in order to be mine you have to eat my flesh and drink my blood that was a uh, uh, and that's what the wine and the bread represented okay judas never did that the moment jesus dipped the bread and handed it to to uh judas satan entered into him and he left to betray him he never partook of when Jesus said, this is my blood shed for you. This is the my body broken for you. Okay. So um, uh, Judas never partook of it because he was never belonging to Christ. Okay. So he repented of his sin and even made restitution. And I keep telling people, you don't repent of your sins to be saved. You believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. You trust the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus. That's what saves you. You're resting in his finished work on the cross. So let me read this to you. Jesus, where Jesus predicts his betrayal, he says, I am not referring to all of you. I know those I have chosen, but this is to fulfill this passage of scripture. Okay, so this is, he's telling you why he chose Judas. He knew Judas would betray him. He knew he never believed on him. He knew he was stealing from the money. Okay, he knew all this. He said, I, I, I chose Judas for this reason to fulfill this passage of scripture. He who shared my bread has turned against me. That's why Jesus handed him bread, dipped it and handed it to him. Okay, I am telling you now before it happens so that when it does happen, you will believe that I am who I am. Verily, truly, I tell you, whoever accepts, hold on one second, anyone, it's my computer's messing up here. Whoever accepts anyone I send accepts me, and whoever accepts me accepts the one who sent me. After he has said this, Jesus was troubled in spirit and testified, Truly, truly, I tell you, one of you is going to betray me. His disciples started to stare at one another at a loss to know which one of them he meant. One of them, the disciple whom Jesus loved, John, was reclining next to him. Simon Peter, I love how John glories and how God loved him and not how he loved God so much. It was the disciple whom Jesus loved. He rested in Jesus' love for him. I love that. Peter motioned to this disciple and said, ask him which one he means. Leaning back against Jesus, he asked him, Lord, who is it? Jesus answered, it is the one to whom I will give this piece of bread when I have dipped it in the dish. Then dipping the piece of bread, he gave it to Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot. As soon as Judas took the bread, Satan entered into him. Now, anyone that God owns full of the Holy Spirit, cannot be possessed. He was possessed at that moment. So Jesus told him, what you are about to do, do quickly. But nobody understood who they were talking about. And as soon as Jesus had taken, Judas had taken the bread, he went out to betray him. He never partook of the body and blood of Christ. He was never one of his. He was never saved. Hopefully this will answer the eternal security issue. Judas never did. And see, it tells you in Matthew 7, 21, didn't I preach in your name? Didn't I cast out demons in your name? Didn't I do many wonderful works in your name? He said, depart from me. You never, I never knew you. You didn't do the will of the Father. The will of the Father is that all who see the Son and believe on him shall have eternal life and he shall lose none. Okay? He will raise him up at the last day. That's the will of the Father, that all who see the Son believe on him. Judas Iscariot never believed on him. Okay? It tells you right there he knew who would betray him, who didn't believe on him, why he chose Judas to fill the scripture, to betray him, that he was a son of perdition, he was a devil. He was never a saved man. Okay? I hope I answered it.
God bless.